Welcome to my crochet flower tutorial. This is Kristen Nicholas and today I'm going to show you how to make a small crocheted flower. I like to make these crocheted flowers and then attach them to simple projects like mittens or hats just to give a decorative touch. They're really easy. Begin with a slip knot on the crochet needle and chain four. One, two, three, four. Take a slip stitch into the first stitch to make a circle. Here's my little circle. And you want to work 10 single crochet around the circle. One, two, three, and as I go, I'm crocheting over the tail. Here's my circle with the 10 single crochets worked around it. Now I'm going to join these by doing a slip stitch into the top of the first single crochet. And now what I want to do is make my first flower petal. And to do this, I'm going to work a single crochet and then three double crochets and another single crochet into my first stitch. So here we go. Single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, and I'm going to end with a single crochet. And as you can see, that makes a petal, first petal. In my next stitch, I'm going to make a slip stitch. And this is the end of the first petal. Now you want to do that around the outside of the circle four more times, so you're going to build five petals. Okay, let me do one more petal for you. I'm going to single crochet, three double crochets, one, two, three, and another single crochet all into that one next stitch. So you may see my second petal. I'm going to Finish that petal by making a slip stitch into the next single crochet. So we've got, now we have two petals completed. Here is my almost finished crocheted flower with the five petals. I need to make one last single crochet into this last single crochet space and a slip stitch into the very last single crochet spot and pull my yarn through and it's basically done. I'm going to put this onto a tapestry needle and weave it through the back and then turn this over and my beginning tail, I'm going to pull that tight and it almost closes the circle and then I'll uh, use a tapestry needle and go through the back of the stitches. And that's it. Finished, easy, pretty, sewed on to anything you want. And as you can see, Tommy the kitten loves it too. Thank you for watching my crochet flower tutorial. You can see more of my work on my website, www.kristennicholas.com, and read about my adventures stitching on our farm at www.gettingstitchedonthefarm.blogspot.com. Thank you. See you again. Bye-bye.